Paul Fraser and this is the 7 o'clock news from Bahrain International. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, received at Sakhir Palace today Bahrain Journalists Association, that's the BGA, board members led by BGA Chairman Monis Mahmoud Al Mahdi on the occasion of electing a new board of directors. His Royal Highness congratulated them for earning the members' trust and wished them further success. He highlighted the journalists' enlightening role and their continuous defence against campaigns that aim to distort the image of Bahrain. He also expressed thanks and appreciation to all journalists for their national sense of responsibility and for uniting the people of Bahrain. He commended the role of journalism in objectively educating the general public about both local and international affairs. The Prime Minister added that the long history of the Bahraini press has contributed to creating many generations of outstanding writers and journalists. For its part, BGA commended the limited support it receives from His Royal Highness the Prime Minister. His Royal Highness hailed the role of Bahraini journalists in defending the kingdom and highlighting its achievements in various fields, as well as expressing the needs of society. He noted the government's keenness to provide support to the BGA in every way possible, adding that the message of the press should strengthen national unity. The Prime Minister stressed that the challenges that have affected the stability of the region require more awareness and adherence to the values of brotherhood and coexistence. He lauded the national young talents of the Bahraini press and the freedom of speech in the kingdom, praising the role of the BGA, which has allowed journalists to express their aspirations. For his part, the BGA chairman expressed thanks and appreciation for His Royal Highness's support to journalism in Bahrain. He commended his wise directives, which have inspired them to continue spreading the noble message. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, received at Rafah Palace today Qatar's Ambassador to the Kingdom, Sheikh Jassim bin Mohammed Al Thani, who invited His Royal Highness to attend a celebration on the occasion of Qatar's National Day. His Royal Highness expressed his appreciation for the invitation, wishing Qatar and its people progress and prosperity. He praised the existing bilateral brotherly relations and cooperation in various fields. He also affirmed Bahrain's keenness to bolster bilateral cooperation and coordination, stressing the importance of GCC cooperation in enhancing GCC joint action on the political, economic and social levels. The Qatari ambassador to the kingdom expressed thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness's efforts in strengthening bilateral cooperation, which reflects the strong ties bonding the two countries. Under the patronage of the Deputy Prime Minister, President of the Supreme Council for the Development of Education and Training, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Mubarak Al Khalifa, the third graduation ceremony for Bahrain Polytechnic was held with the presence of a number of ministers and senior officials. The Deputy Prime Minister expressed appreciation to Bahrain Polytechnic's affiliates, which are the result of the Education and Training Development Project and one of the most important initiatives. He said that Bahrain Polytechnic has established itself as an institution of higher education capable of providing qualified graduates with the skills required by the labour market. Sheikh Mohammed pointed out that the Bahrain Polytechnic placed at the top of its priorities the quality of educational outcomes which has enabled it to meet the government's work programme and achieve Bahrain's 2030 vision. He expressed pride in the graduates who excelled in their studies, which affirms the Institute's position amongst Bahrain's higher education institutions. The Deputy Prime Minister also thanked the Chairman and members of the Board of Trustees, the Acting Chief Executive Officer and all the academic and administrative bodies for their outstanding efforts. He also congratulated the graduates, wishing them further success. 
The Minister of Education, Dr Majid al Noemi, gave a speech thanking Sheikh Mohammed on his patronage of the graduation ceremony. The Board of Trustees Chairman, Sheikh Hisham bin Abdulaziz Al Khalifa, then gave a speech highlighting Sheikh Mohammed's support and encouragement of every scientific accomplishment in Bahrain, in particular with respect to Bahrain Polytechnic. First Deputy Chairman of the Supreme Council of Youth and Sports, President of Bahrain Athletics Association and Honorary President of Bahrain Association for Handicapped Sports, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa has crowned the winners of His Highness's Theatre Festival Award for youth centres and clubs. Titled Painting a Smile, the festival's conclusion was held at the auditorium of Easter Town Cultural Club in the presence of representative of His Majesty the King for Media Affairs, Nabil bin Yaqub Al Hamar, Youth and Sports Minister Hisham bin Mohammed Al Jawa. MPs, assistant undersecretaries of the ministry and celebrities led by Bahraini artist Ali al Shakawi. His Highness Sheikh Khalid said the award was founded on noble goals, especially as the youth theatre this year showed the characteristic traits of creativity and excellence of Bahraini youth in all fields generally and in the performing arts in particular. He said the festival's second edition, which saw the participation of five national clubs and eight youth centres in addition to the friendship of the Blind Society as a representative of handicapped persons, showcased many young talents. He added the festival was born to last for the upcoming years, affirming that the activities come as part of the constant initiatives aimed to support the sector of youths in all fields. His Highness praised the performers of the special operata presented in the final ceremony, which attracted massive audiences, confirming the great overall success of the festival. His Highness Sheikh Khalid then honoured poet Ali al Shakawi and highlighted that this honouring reflects al Shakawi's contribution to the kingdom. His Highness also honoured the people with special needs, sponsors and artists who contributed to the success of the festival, which consisted of 22 artists. 
His Highness also honoured the evaluation and the organising committees. First Deputy President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, Honorary President of the Bahrain Mixed Martial Arts Association, founder of Khalid bin Hamid Martial Arts Organization, that's KHKMMA, announced the third Brave Combat Federation Championship will be held in Brazil. His Highness Sheikh Khalid said holding the championship in Brazil aims to introduce Bahrain's experience with this international professional sport, which will further enhance Bahrain's status in the international sports arena. His Highness highlighted the role of organisers and local and international media in covering the Brave 2 Championship and expressed thanks and appreciation to all organisers, local and international media for covering Brave 2 successfully, wishing them further success in the future. A very good evening. You're watching the business news on Bahrain International with me, Mohammed Youssef. Bahrain All Share Index closed at 1,175.93 points, marking a decrease of 1.79 points below last closing. The fall was in the commercial banks and services sectors, and investors traded mainly in the commercial banks with 62% of total shares. 53 transactions, including 1,828,491 shares, worth 387,258 Bahraini dinars.